Dear students, now I am going to explain how to use the vernier caliper to find the diameter of this circular disc for torsional pendulum experiment. So, for this the apparatus required are vernier caliper and then this is the circular disc what we are using for the torsional pendulum experiment. So, let me explain about this vernier caliper. So, this is what a vernier caliper you can see the two scales in this ok. So, this is one actually if you use this knob we can move this slide move this jaws right. So, now you, you see here this is one jaw this is another jaw this jaw is fixed and this jaw is movable one ok. So, the jaw which is fixed along with that we have one scale that is the main scale that is called main scale and another scale which is moving along with the moving jaw ok. So, this is called vernier scale. So, it consists of two scales main scale as well as vernier scale. So, now if you want to use this vernier caliper first we have to find out the least count. So, how to find the least count first let us see that part. So, first one is least count what is mean by least count the smallest value actually by using the equipment what is the smallest value we can measure that is called the least count. The smallest value can be measured by using the vernier caliper how to find the least count of the vernier caliper. So, already I mentioned it consists of two scales one is main scale main scale this main scale is nothing but our ordinary scale that is it is graduated in centimeter. So, 0 to 1 10 divisions are there ok 0 to 1 10 divisions. So, main scale is graduated in centimeter and the second one is the vernier scale listen carefully here which only 10 divisions will be there with the movable jaw ok only 10 divisions right. So, that is called vernier scale. So, vernier scale it consists only 10 divisions ok. So, by using these two scales only we are going to find out the least count. So, what is the formula for finding the least count? Least count is equal to 1 main scale division divided by total number of vernier scale division total number of vernier scale division. So, how to find one main scale division? So, let me explain about it. So, in main scale first number is 0 the second number is 1 in between 10 divisions are there ok. So, now you see here 0 1 totally 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9. So, one division is 1 centimeter divided by 10 division. So, what is one main scale division which is equal to 0 0.1 centimeter 0 0.1 centimeter this is one main scale division that means 0 to 1 we have 10 division. So, 1 centimeter is divided by 10 that is what 0 0.1 centimeter divided by total number of vernier scale division already I said here 10 lines will be there the first is 0 and then we if you count we can see that 10 divisions will be there. So, total number of vein vernier scale division is 10 if you divide this we will get 0 0.01 centimeter. So, this is the least count of the vernier scale least count of the vernier scale. Next we have to find out a 0 error and a 0 correction, but in this vernier caliper we, we are not having the 0 errors that I will show here. Now, you see if you close this two jaws the 0 of main scale coinciding with 0 of the vernier scale. So, there is no 0 error. So, there is no need to discuss about 0 error and 0 correction ok. So, here 0 error is nil and 0 correction is also nil right. So, next we have to use this vernier caliper to find the diameter of the circular disc. So, for that let me show the tabular column for you. Now, you see this is the tabular column required for us first one is serial number three values we are going to take and then main scale reading M S R main scale reading V S C vernier scale coincidence and then observed reading it is equal to main scale reading plus vernier scale coincidence into least count. So, now let us start the experiment see this is the circular disc now I am going to use the vernier caliper to take the diameter of this. So, now open the job fully and then put it in the exact center of this disc exact center of this disc ok. Now, you adjust this knob to hold this 
circular disc in between the jaws ok. So, first we have to adjust it tight it ok. Now, we have to start taking the values. So, how to take the main scale as well as vernier scale coincidence. Now, listen carefully already I mentioned that in vernier scale we have 10 divisions with the first line is mentioned as 0. The first line is nothing but index line. So, now you see the index line where it matches with the main scale the first line is called index line where it matches with the main scale. So, here it is exactly matching with 12.6. 12.6. So, first line of the vernier matches with the main scale is this is 12, 12.5, the next line is 12.6. So, main scale reading is 12.6, main scale reading is 12.6, ok, main scale over. Next one is vernier scale. How to find the vernier scale? Now, listen we have to find out the vernier scale coincidence. In vernier we have 10 lines, leave that first one as 0 that we should not consider. Start from number 1, 2, 3 like that. That line should coincide like a single line from top to bottom. So, from the line 1 we have to check it out, 1 it is not matching, matching, 2 is not matching, 3, 4, 5 like that. The fifth line is matching like a single line from main scale to vernier scale. So, which number is ma matching? Fifth one. Fifth one is matching 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth one. So, 5 is the vernier scale coincidence, right. In that way, we have to take down 3 values in 3 different places. For example, now previously we have taken in this direction, right. Next, we have to take down in this direction. So, by the time see the value here 12.6 main scale is not changing only vernier coincidence will change ok. Now, the vernier coincidence is matching 4 ok. So, 12.6 is the main scale reading and the vernier scale coincidence is 4 that also I am noting here. Next in different direction just turn it and then tight it here take the value of this. Now, you see the main scale reading is 12.6 as usual and the main scale that vernier scale coincidence is matching now again it is showing 4 only ok. So, uh, that no that value also I am noting down in the tabular column ok. So, now now you see I have taken 3 values ok. So, 12.6 vernier coincidence is 5 here 6 12.64 12.64. So, how to calculate the observed reading? Observed reading is equal to main scale reading is 12.6 plus vernier scale coincidence is 5 into least count is 0.01 centimeter. So, if you calculate 12.6 plus 0.05 which is equal to 12.65 is the value observed reading for the first one and this likewise if we calculate second one is 12.64 and the third one is again 12.64. So, we have 3 values this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3 ok. So, now we have to find out the average. So, the average is nothing but diameter of the circular disc, diameter of the disc is nothing but our average. So, average what I have to do 1 plus 2 plus 3 divided by 3 that means 12.65. So, we are getting 12.643 centimeter. So, 12.643 centimeter is the diameter of the disc. Next, we have to find out radius of the disc. So, radius of the disc is equal to r which is equal to diameter divided by 2. So, diameter by 2 is equal to 12.643 divided by 2 which is equal to 6.6. 3, 2, 1, ok. So, round off to 2 decimals, why? Because our least count is having 2 decimals only. So, we should round off this. So, we will get 6.32 centimeter. So, this is the radius of the circular disc by using the vernier caliper. So, these are the steps we have to follow to find the radius of the circular disc by using the vernier caliper. Please go through this. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment box. Music